All right, let's fly uh, back across the globe, back here closer to home. And you can see here's the light rain and snow that we had yesterday. Not big deal stuff. That's well off to the east. We have a lot of cloud cover here. Maybe a few cracks of clearing up here to the north that may make it down in some of the northern part of the area. But I think some of that cloud cover is going to fill back in during the course of the night. So here's the cloud cover along with the wind that I have plotted on here to show you that during the night with this north wind, we're going to see some snow bands developing. So you folks in Ontario are going to get these bands first, but with a bit more of a northeast turn and it's not showing up well on the model. Some lake effect snow bands will probably push inland into the thumb by tomorrow morning and maybe a few snow showers elsewhere to the east with maybe a couple of flurries to the west. But for most of us, this is a non-issue. But if you're under one of those snow bands up in the thumb or in Ontario, you could get an inch or a little more of snow out of this deal. All right, as we get into the afternoon hours Friday, a lot of that stuff goes away. We just have the cloud cover and we keep the cloud cover to start the day Saturday. But notice we start degrading that cloud cover into the afternoon on Saturday. And by Saturday night, we're going to clear things out. So no real weather problems from a rain or snow standpoint this weekend. It's just going to be very, very cold. And that big storm is going to be missing us, which we'll talk more about that at 11 when I have some new model data to show you. But look at the wind chill for when you wake up tomorrow morning. The wind chill when you wake up teens in the south, low teens to around 10 degrees in the north, even some single digits in the thumb. But notice now, by the end of the afternoon, these wind chills are dropping. So we're now in the mid-teens to the south and well down into the single digits to the north. So it's actually going to feel colder by the end of the afternoon than it will when you wake up in the morning because the temperature will be dropping and it'll be breezy. So the actual low tonight be about 25 degrees and then tomorrow we'll probably hit our high in the late morning to around lunchtime at 30 degrees then temperatures rapidly falling through the 20s during the afternoon and then Saturday is the Arctic uh, day for us and then we start to come out of it early next week with temperatures going back down by the end of next week. Only one chance of snow really in the forecast. That's Tuesday night into Wednesday guys.